linking text to an external website, another page on your website, or a file is really easy on your Squarespace 7.1 website. To start, we will navigate to the page we want to edit. So in this case, I'm going to click on the About Us page, and I'm going to come up to the top left-hand corner and choose Edit. And down here, I've already prepped this page with information to demonstrate each type of link that you can add to your site. So the first one we're going to look at is linking to another website. This may be um, linking over to a, another provider that you work with. This may be linking people to an external donation site. It can be any website outside of your current website. So I'm going to highlight the text that I want to become the link and then I'm going to click on the link shortcut here on the toolbar. If you're using a Mac, you can also do Command K. And what you see is it opens sort of a small window here, which is a shortcut window. I want you to go ahead and click the wheel to make that a larger window to work within. And then here we can put our external link right here in the top field. So in this case, I'm just going to link over to Google for demonstration purposes. Now, anytime we link to an external website, we want to be sure to open that site in a new window. This keeps visitors on our site for both convenience and for site visit time, which matters to Google. Once I've toggled that on to on, I would just want to come up here and click save and then choose apply. And we'll see that we have turned that into a link very easy. Now, the second type of link would be linking to another page within your site. So for example, you may want to link people over to your contact page or your services page. So I'm going to highlight again the text that I want to become the link, choose the link shortcut key and expand the box. And this time I'm going to choose page. Now, when I click here in the page box, I'm automatically going to get a drop down of all of the pages on my website. If you have a lot of pages, you can type the first letter of the page to shorten that list. In this case, I only have a few. I'm going to go ahead and click on services. I do not need to use open in a new window since they are staying on my website. Save and then apply. Now we have three other additional types of links. We can link an email address again using the same shortcut menu, link the cogwheel, and then choosing email. Here I can type in the email address. I can even um, go ahead and define the subject of the email. And when someone clicks on that link, it will open their email client with an email to this address with this subject. If I want to link a phone number, which I do suggest you use, click on link, expand, and phone, and simply type in the phone number. This will turn the link into a hot link for phone numbers, meaning that people can use the one touch calling on a smart mobile device. The last type is linking to a PDF or other file type. And to do that, we're going to highlight again the name of the file, link and expand and choose the bottom choice here as file. Then we simply just choose upload file. It's going to open our own computer's finder. We can choose the file we want to link and say open. And then we definitely want to open files in a new window. So those are the five types of links that you can add to your site. And this is a very easy process here in Squarespace 7.1. Just be sure to always click um, save and then apply, which I missed on this uh, step. If you are looking at, I, wanted, I should have clicked that one more time and hit save and then apply. And that will make sure that um, all of your links are saved. When you're done adding or editing your links, come up to done and then choose save. Are you looking for more resources to help your nonprofit grow its reach and impact? Unlock my free nonprofit resource library that includes exclusive workbooks, templates, and training videos to help you tell more people about the incredible work you are doing. Just go to 19design.net to get your access right now. Until then, keep making a great first impression online.